This thing actually has five PCI Express X16 2.0 slots. Unbelievable. It's the uh, Classified 200. Check it out in just a second. Unbelievable. This thing actually has five PCI Express X16 2.0 slots. Unbelievable. It's the uh, Classified 200. Uh, so basically it's a P55 motherboard, like the classified P55, but it's the 200, which means that uh, NVIDIA, or in this case EVGA, has added the NF200 chip from NVIDIA, which gives you an additional set of PCI Express lanes. So before, with the old P55, you could only do, you only had 16 lanes of electronic PCI Express, and that bifurcated down to X8, X8 when you populated two cards, and that pretty much means that you were stuck with two-way SLI, well, not with this card. This way you can do three-way SLI with a dedicated physics card. You can do... Uh, four-way Crossfire X or Quad Fire, which is absolutely ridiculous. This board is insane, and the overclocking features, well, they take up an entire piece of paper. So let's get started. Uh, it's going to give you guys a basic run around on the board, and then we'll talk about overclocking and all the uh, enthusiast features. Uh, starting off with the socket, 1156 Core i7s, Core i5s, your 750s and your 860s, and in the future, your 7 and your 8 series CPUs are going to fit in there. You got four DIMMs for dual channel DDR3 memory, uh, up to 2600 megahertz with overclocking. I believe natively is 1333 or 1600, but again, this is an overclocker's board, so uh, you're pretty much just going to be overclocking it yourself. Uh, you also have, again, five PCI. Express X16 slots down here, uh, which you are going to use. You have a one PCI Express X1 up here at the top, uh, which you will use as well. Uh, you have a ton of SATA ports. You actually have six uh, over here that are directly connected to the P55. These are going to be able to do uh, RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 0, plus 1, 5, and JBOD. Plus, you have two eSATAs on the back. Talking about the back, do have quite a few good things back here. PS2, two USB 2.0 ports. You have the uh, clear CMOS button. This is for the ECP V2, which we'll talk about in a moment. You got two ESATA ports, a Firewire 1394, four USB 2.0s over here, uh, bringing the total count on the back to six, and dual gigabit Ethernet, as well as 7.1 channel HD audio, all on the back. So a lot of really, really good stuff on this now. Let's talk a little bit about the overclocking features on here, because there are quite a few. Um, I will start you off, take a look at this uh, up here at the top. I'm going to pull this little sticker off. You got dual 8 pin uh, CPU plugs. So, for your 12 volt CPU power, you can bring up to 600 watts into this board with that. So, that's for extreme, extreme overclocking. Uh, you know, the only time you're ever going to use over 600 watts is when you're doing liquid nitrogen or liquid helium, maybe with dry ice or with a cascade, whatever the sticker's not coming off. Uh, so, you do have that ability to have power. Also, uh, these coolers, you will notice these are some really nice coolers. They're very large. You will notice that there are no MOSFETs or anything up in there. That's because this is a uh, 10 plus 2 phase pulse width modulation. Uh, so, it's all digital and it actually allows you to uh, switch the switching frequency or select your switching frequency all the way up to 1333 kilohertz. Uh, which is going to get you some clean, clean power for overclocking. Uh, besides that, everything here is solid state, all the caps and everything. Uh, it's important to know also that this socket is not normal. First of all, you can tell off the bat it's not normal. Uh, it is anodized black, but what's more important is the pins on the inside. I won't touch them, but 300% more gold than your average socket. So that's going to help uh, you know, increase your overclock as well. Super low ESR and ESL uh, film capacitors uh, on here as well. It's going to give you also another good overclocking uh, boost. It's going to help you get a little bit higher than everybody else. Again, the uh, old classified uh, X58 did an incredible job. This does the same thing, but the P55. Also, you want to note these little holes down here. You notice there's two of everything uh, for the CPU coolers, and that's what they call the double play heatsink. Uh, basically, you use either a 775 or an 1156, uh, which is really cool. Now, those are all great overclocking features. Uh, also, for overclocking, you want to know that you do have V droop control, uh, which is really cool. Uh, you also have like the dummy OC and all that good stuff. And uh, you know, you have the Elite Tuning Utility. If you've never used the Elite Tuning Utility, it is very, very impressive. Basically, what it lets you do is get the bulk of your overclocking work done inside the OS. Uh, you basically just run the operating system. Uh, you run, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Prime 95, and you run the Elite Tuning Utility. Bump up your base clock, test for stability, bump up your base clock, test for stability, bump up your base clock. You get something like one thread will fail, bump your voltage, keep going until you hit a limit, and then from there you can adjust all your voltages. Now, speaking of voltages, that's where this thing is unique. Check this out. Now, you know that most of the EVGA boards have uh, voltage read points. If you don't know what those are, they are right up here. I don't know if you see them, but they're basically contacts where you can type, uh, you can touch it with a voltimeter. 
uh, or a multimeter and get all your voltages for your V-core, your V-dim, uh, your PLL, and your termination voltages. Uh, but what's really special about this classified board uh, is this right here. So let me uh, unwrap this so you can see this. This is, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen on a motherboard. I'm going to plug this in right over here. Oh, i got to pull the cap off. Pull the cap off, plug that in, and look at this. You have a built-in voltimeter, okay? Here's the display. It's called show volt, up to three decimal places accurate, and basically, it's a voltimeter built into a motherboard. It's absolutely insane, and you're literally going to come over here, and you're just going to touch your voltages. Depending on which one you want to see, you touch it, and it will come up on the voltimeter, and from there, you know what your exact, exact voltages are. So forget guessing uh, or reading something off of CPU-Z or out of the BIOS. You never know if it's accurate or not. These are dead accurate. Now, while I'm in the box, let me continue showing you uh, what you got in the box here. Uh, you have a two-way SLI bridge. You have a three-way SLI bridge. You have a three-way SLI bridge uh, with the gap for physics. It's for the physics car with triple SLI. You have, uh, these are the cables for the EV or the ECP, the EVGA control panel V2, which is this puppy right here. Now basically what this does, I don't know if you can zoom in here, but basically uh, these are our power reset and clear CMOS buttons, but you also have an LCD poster, which doubles as a th uh, CPU temperature readout as soon as it's done with the post process. You also have PCIe uh, disabled jumpers. So if you have a water-cooled graphics setup and one of the cards is malfunctioning and needs to troubleshoot, you don't have to take apart your loop. You basically pull the pin out and that PCI Express connector will be down. Uh, also, these are for adding vCore. Each time you push one in, you get a 0.1 boost in your vCore. Uh, so this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and then this is going to give you a 0.1 boost to your termination voltage. Uh, so really, really cool. You can overclock on the fly from the board. Uh, also in the box, one of these little brackets for uh, Firewire and USB 2.0. You also get a bunch of SATA cables. You have six SATA cables, a bunch of these Molex SATA connectors. I don't know why anybody would use those. Uh, you also have a shielded uh, input-output shield with the padding on the back. It's going to block interference, uh, electromagnetic interference. It's also going to keep it nice and quiet, and it's pretty in labels. So if you have a nice case you spend hundreds of dollars on, you're not going to put this, you know, cheap quality, uh, cheap quality input-output shield. So, uh, really good stuff. Also, a couple more things I want to show you. Uh, zoom in right over here. Uh, check that out. You have three BIOS chips, your main one and two backups right there. Uh, and that is for pretty much checking out new BIOSes, uh, restoring an old one, or if you want to run uh, one overclock here and another one here and a third one here, it's really up to you. You can use it for multiple, uh, multiple uses. Also, uh, right over here, you do have the BIOS selector switch. That's going to let you select which BIOS you want to run. Uh, you basically flip the switch and then restart the system and you're good to go. You also have power. Uh, and clear CMOS uh, buttons down here, which is really, really nice. Uh, and then finally, uh, one last really cool thing on this board uh, is that it has dual clock generators. And that basically means that there's a two different clock generators, one for your PCI Express, because those are running at 100 megahertz, and then one for the base clock or for the CPU and for everything else. And that means you can get a really, really nice stable overclock. It's going to help you a lot getting those last few megahertz out of your CPU, whether it be your Core i5-750 or your Core i7-860. Uh, this board is incredible, and if you want to have a high-end graphics uh, you know, setup where you have either four-way quad fire or you have triple SLI with dedicated physics, this is the type of board that you want to do it with. You can also run the classified uh, GTX 285 on here with pulse width modulation and crazy overclocking features. So uh, this is pretty much a high, high-end enthusiast board and it's very nice. Good job, EVGA. Got to give you a thumbs up for that one. So uh, good board. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the EVGA P55 Classified 200 motherboard, go to com.peter.tv and type in P55 Classified 200. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.